Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from me, Beast of My Name. And today in that video, I want to talk about something really, really important, which is probably right now the number one topic on the Call of Dragons Discord here, which you see in the Discord, and that is the reinforcement and rally feature, which the Call of Dragons de developers right now testing on server 392, and people complaining crazy about that. And I can understand that. Like, um, people are talking about that it shouldn't just be implemented into that game and they shouldn't just testing it around because testing around means they're probably thinking about bringing that into the game. And I mean, we had always fought that type of style, right? You had your flag, which you need to defend by having control over open field. With this type of thing, we're going to go into the, into the details soon. With this type of thing, where you have your garrison and rally um, on the flag is like basically bringing you first of all dead troops and it also removes the thing off that you have to control the open field right if you can just con uh, uh, if you can just reinforce the tower you can just city hop into that tower while the enemy try to break that uh, uh, that flag right so Basically, it removes the fact of you need to have control over the open field. And I don't like that at all. Like, I like this unique thing in Call of Rings where you don't have, like in Rise of Kings and other games, the thing of you need to rally that tower to get it destroyed, basically, right? I like it that we need to have our open field marches on that tower to be able to control it. And the defenders as well, they need to go on the open field and the, and you need to be there and you have to the and you have to have the presence to be able to defend the tower right so as you can see people on the discord here they talking like crazy about that i were also typing earlier here about that gave my two cents here like that the developer should make more with passes because right now the passes i have like they're useless they're useless. No one is defending any passes. Like, pass 1 is semi-protected, pass 2 is semi-protected, pass 3 is semi-protected, pass 4 is semi-protected, and only the pass 5 in, in, is not semi-protected, but no one is defending pass 5, because Aether, you already got blocked from the pass 5s in zone 3, right, on the Tamaris uh, map, or, like, there is no value for you to defend the pass 5, because why should you, when you cannot enter the fucking zone f uh, 4, right? Like, there is no real use of the passes right now in the game. And instead of trying to make something like what we have over the Rise of Kingdoms, which players like over there, right? People, people like it over there because it used to be from the begin. People know that from the begin. And now they're trying to implement that probably here in Call of Dragon, which no one likes because we all started that game because they have this unique thing of you need to have an open field present to defend your tower or to even also break the tower, right, from the enemy. Like, I don't want to sit there and watch rallies. I want to have these open field presents. That's why I like this game. That's why I quit Rise of Kingdoms. Also, one of the reasons why I quit Rise of Kingdoms and fully commit to Call of Dragons because they have this unique thing that you have more open field present. But let's jump into the suggestion, which right now going crazy. And that is this one here from Global 11, which have already almost 500 upvotes. And he said, we sign up to play this game and invest so much into for the free healing and not rallying garrison every building to murder our troops. Forcing moves for resource seeding and killing our troops for every flag in the game will make more players quit when then want to play. I cannot imagine the player base has been asking for more ways to kill our troops, question mark. Stop the testing, stop forcing us into game mechanic. No one is asking for. And I completely agree with Bruce points, what he said. First of all, no one has really asked for that shit. Like, people have it in Rise of Kingdoms. If you want to have this game mechanics, go play Rise of Kingdoms. And, like, we have this type of design, right? You have a free resource healing and the free healing with the open field fighting, which I talked about, right? Like, why would you implement something which is complete the opposite of what do we have right now in the game? What is the fighting based on? Like everyone have 
basically fighting around the system of your need to have open field presence all the time in the war, 24 7. And with this type of rallying garrison on your flags, on every building, what you have, it removes kind of the thing of you need to have 24 7 open field presence, which I really don't like. Like, I completely disagree with that. So, I really want to give you a shout out to that. Obviously, you can have a different opinion and you say, hey, we need to have that. Like, it needs to be in the game because of that and that and that reason. Sure. Write me in the comments the reason why we, why you think we should have, have that in the game. Um, but as you can see, basically 99% of the people are not for that. They really are not for that. And they really agree with that what Global 11 have said in. So if you are also agreeing with that, then make sure to go for that. Um, I'm pretty sure in the general chat it will always get in reason that um, uh, that, that uh, suggestion. It will probably over time get in reason. We can already doing it, right? So yeah, so let's copy that here and reason that here in the global chat. Um, yeah, so let's check actually out how it looks in game. All right, here we are, guys. I just have made a fresh account on this server 392, as you see here on the top. And let me show you real quick how it looks like. So right now you see I'm in a alliance, in a random alliance. And if I click on it, I see the reinforce button here. And there you see the reinforcement. 1.5 million troops, I can reinforce that here with my troops and by going over flag to reinforce it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like that. If you're looking on a different flag here, you're seeing here the rally and we're seeing also here the burning stages details have changed. When a building's garrison legion has been defeated, the building will begin to burn. So that exactly means it is the same thing right? like in Rise of Kingdoms, right? You need to defend the garrison, first of all, before you are able to burn the flag. And this is exactly what I told you about. You just need to send garrison troops into that flag. You, know, you don't need to have any open field presence. You don't need to defend the flag like it used to be with open field presence anymore when this thing is in the game. And it is also not burning while you're welling it. You need to defend, first of all, the garrison legion. And don't get me wrong, guys. We need to have something in the game which is killing the troops. Because we need to have that to balance the top teams, to balance the waves. Because at some point, everyone going to be having 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, if no one are able to burn to kill his troops, right? So you need to have something in the game to balance that, right? But I don't like this, that they're trying to do it like in Rise of Kingdoms. They need to do finding a different solution for that and maybe start doing something with a passive because right now the passes are useless. Like, like I told you guys earlier, everything except the pass four, uh, pass five right now on the Tamaris map, for example, is semi-protected like there is no way of you to like for example invade the zone two from from the zone one or invade any zone one like it's not possible for you for example if you would be able to invade the zone one and actually take away the magma then people would be like oh shit we need to protect our past ones because if they're able to invade our zone one we're gonna lose the magma zone at uh, the magma zone one which means we're getting less season end rewards we're getting lower season end rewards and people don't want that right people don't want to lose their progress they don't want to lose their rewards so that is a commitment which they would put into defending the past ones i believe so i would do that i would protect the past ones to protect the magma from our zone one i would definitely do that right so that would be for example an option which we can do i don't know why they need to do it like this way so, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about that recent change. I will keep you updated on this. I will look on Discord 
and um, look if they're making any updates on that type of thing. And yeah, I wish you still a great rest of the day. Have a great start in the next day. Stay happy, everyone. And we're going to see us then on next one.